looks like you have a lot of kids, like a lot of kids. I do, I do. Um, I can't be away from uh, my kids for a long period of time. How many kids you got, sir? I have 36 kids. Uh, what are you, a foster parent? I'm a teacher, so uh, a lot of those kids, I feel like they're my own kids. These are your and students? Yes, they're my students, but sir, when they're- this isn't relevant, sit down. So the show everyone is talking about, Jury Duty on Amazon Freebie. I'm talking with one of the jurors. His name is Ross Kimball. Thanks for chatting with me. Hey, thanks for having me, Trevor. Yeah, so what is Jury Duty about for those who haven't seen this show? Jury Duty is about, oh man, let's make this quick. In a few sentences, Jury Duty is, we took someone who thought they were going to be a part of a documentary about the jury duty system in America and we put them through a real life Truman show for three weeks. Everyone's an actor except for one person. And when I say everyone's an actor, I mean everyone, the judge, the bailiff, even the janitor. Everyone is an actor except for Ronald Gladden. And what was it like getting to be in part of this show? What was the casting process like? Did they ask you specifically? Uh, one word, surreal. It was surreal to be a part of it. I knew Jake Zemanski, our amazing director, through another project, and I auditioned for something, and it, it fell through, didn't get it, and he said, wait six months, because I have something coming up. And I think, you know, that's like the nice Hollywood thing to say, yeah. you know, it's a nice thing to say, and you're like, okay, and you never expect it. Exactly six months later, he goes, hey, would you mind putting yourself on tape for something? And it was an untitled jury duty project, put myself on tape, and... Two weeks later, they had us come in to do a, uh, what, what, like a, uh, you know, like if you come in and, and you watch a trailer for a movie or if like uh, Burger King has a, a new burger and you taste it, it's a, a focus group. They had us come in as a focus group as a character and other people were auditioning, but also other people were there that were not a part of the audition process. They weren't auditioning for the TV show. They wanted to see if you could stay in character with real people which was surreal. And uh, oh, two weeks later, uh, I got the gig. And then we were in rehearsals. And we rehearsed the whole ep season for a week. And then we met Ronald. <laughs> so tell, tell us more about your character, character who's also named Ross. Yeah, well, I, w I was very, I was very grateful that I got to keep my name because there were people that, you know, you know, these people outside of the show, you, you get to know them. And then you have to remember to keep their name. So I was very thankful I got to keep my name. I'm a teacher. I am a high school teacher. I'm a coach. These are your students. I talk about my wife a lot. I'm obsessed with my wife. We eventually get to meet my wife, and maybe things aren't the way they're supposed to be, Trevor. And I became the voice of reason for Ronald. I got to sit behind him for three weeks. And we became very close. And a lot of times he thought I should be in charge. So I'm 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 a very silly person in real life, but I really had to keep it straight and keep it very close to my chest a lot of the times. I couldn't be funny. I couldn't be wild. I couldn't be as funny as the other characters because otherwise he would sniff that out, you know? Yeah, you played it yeah. off really well. So what Thank about you. um your big scene? We can't give too much away about it. People haven't seen yeah. it, but it's about a, your birthday, your surprise birthday party. What was it like filming that? That was a stressful day. That was a very stressful day because I remember, so, so I remember waking up thinking, okay, this is the day that I'm going to have to start looking for another job because he's going to look at us and be like, hey, what's going on? What's happening? Like, this can't be real. So my surprise birthday party happens, and I thought that day was, was it. I thought we were going to get caught. I didn't know it at the time, but my good friend Colleen Murray, big shout out to Colleen Murray, super, super funny. I've known her since my Chicago days. She played my wife, and I didn't know that until I saw the call sheet. And I was like, okay, guys, this is going to be a good day. This is going to be great. I don't want to give too much away, but that day was a lot of fun, but very, very stressful. It's, yeah. it's so funny. I can't wait for people <laughs> to see it on the screen. So what what is the relationship like with Ronald now? He's all over the place. He's on all these talk shows, doing all these mm -hmm. interviews. What's it like with him? I always say when people ask me, oh, how's Ronald? I say, well, I talked to him the other day. And that doesn't happen when you're making TV or movies. You, it's summer camp for that time you're making it. And then you just disappear. But for this project, it's super special because all of us, the whole cast keeps in touch. And especially Ronald, whenever we see him out in New York City on top of the Empire State Building taking selfies on the Today Show, we all just text each other being like, he's living the dream. 
I love it. And I always say, I'm so glad the world got to meet Ronald Gladden. Because whenever someone compliments me about the show or someone emails me about how great it is, they always say, I can't believe you found him. And also, it really restored my faith in humanity. Mm -hmm. It was it, this show came in into people's lives at the right time. I would say it, that, too. Yeah, it really did. It completely restores your faith in humanity. You truly believe he's such a good person and he comes across that way so well. So please tell me. You recognize, obviously you're an actor, you recognize James Marsden aside from Sex Drive. I mean, he's in all these other movies, Hairspray, Enchanted, The Notebook. Mm -hmm. Like, what was it like working with him? It was great. James is amazing. Also, I, I say this too when people ask me this question. When he walks into a room, you immediately go, at least I did. I say, oh yeah, of course you're a, a famous actor. You're a celebrity. Because if you lived in Montana... And I, I would be like, what are you doing here? You need to go to California or New York. He is amazing, super professional, very funny, super personable. Uh, he knocked it out of the park. He was having a blast because he was playing an elevated version of himself. And I mean, that was it's kind of the dream when you're an actor. You're like, oh, I can be, I can be kind of a jerk. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. And it was really fun to watch him. I was the person, there was a moment where Ronald and James are meeting for the first time in the waiting room. And he looks at someone's socks and the socks say Patagonia, but he says, oh, I thought that said Sonic. Yeah, I'm in Sonic. And Ronald, I was 10 feet away when this happened. Ronald goes, oh, you're in Sonic? I heard that's not a good movie. And I thought to myself, this is our guy. We found the guy because <laughs> he is so nice and just says whatever is on his mind. And you see it throughout the whole season that he is just genuine. He takes care of people. He brings everyone in. He doesn't push anybody out. It's, again, it, it just restores your faith in humanity. It really does. So yeah. let's think if there's possibly a season two coming, maybe we don't know yet. Would you yeah. use, Would you be open to redo the same jury, do the same cast? How could you find someone so innocent and so great like Ronald? Yeah, it, so, so the big thing for, for the show, how it worked was you had to get rid of technology. Because he'd be on his phone. So I think jury duty, we didn't know how popular it was going to get. So I'm not sure if we could do it. It would have to be a different scenario. But if it happens, I would sign on if everyone else signed on. Because it was magic. You don't find that. And just an ensemble, everyone was patient. There were some people, my, my background is improv. And comedy. So this was a dream to improvise for 10 hours a day. But for some people, they needed a, a script or this was new to them and how we all gel together and the trust and the confident factor. It was amazing. I would, I would do a, uh, I don't know. I have a few ideas, but I don't want to throw it out there because it may happen. And also someone watching this may be on Craigslist next year, looking to be a part of a documentary. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure. But Just I would definitely be. Just talking to you makes right. me want to watch it all over again, even though I know what happens. It's so funny. Make sure you watch Jury Dude on our Amazon freebie. Thanks a lot. Trevor, thanks so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you very much.